Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was tagged to do the All About Nail Polish tag by Stacey Loring. Um, I'm sure you guys know who she is. She's awesome. You should check her videos out. She's so funny. She cracks me up all the time. Um, the question, there are 10 questions and they're asking you different questions about the nail polishes and what your favorite polishes are, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and get this video done. I'm sorry if you see me looking down. I have something on my finger and it's driving me crazy. All right, so the first question is, what is your favorite nail polish finish? Uh, creams, I like glitters a lot, a lot, a lot, but creams are my very favorite polishes. Um, I just like the way when it just goes on smooth, especially when you have a great formula on the polish. I really like that a lot. Glitters are good, but creams are my favorite polish finish. All right, and the second one is, what is your favorite pretty ugly shade? My favorite pretty ugly shade is a fa shade from Sinful Colors. It's called Baroque. Um, I have it up here somewhere. Um, this is what it looks like. It's like a really, dusty muddy brown color i love this color it's ugly but it's really pretty to me anyway the next um, question is called which polish in your collection is the most sentimental to you my most sentimental polishes are these from estee lauder they come in a little kind of like this and because these are my favorite because my husband bought these for me um, he just came home one day and he said he was at the mall and he was thinking about me and he wanted to get me something that he knew I wanted to have. So he bought me these four Estee Lauder polishes and this is what they look like. And my favorite one of all is this one and it's called Smash. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I love all of them, but this is my favorite out of the bunch and my hubby bought these for me. This fourth question, if you could go t back in time and buy any collection, what would it be? I don't really have a favorite collection that I could say I wanted to go back in time to get. I really don't have a favorite because I just love nail polish. I don't care what the collection is, how old the polishes are, whatever. I don't have a favorite, so that's my answer to that question. Um, the next one is, what is your go-to all-occasion polish? I don't know. I don't really have a go-to polish, really, um, because I change my polishes so much. Um, but my go-to is whatever I have available if I'm in a rush or anything like that, or if I just want to put polish on. I have so many polishes that I've never tried. I'll just go and pick out something that I haven't tried before and I'll just put it on. And usually it's something, a light color, especially if I'm in a rush, because you know if you have on dark polish like this, then it's gonna be hard to clean if you get it on your cuticles. Put on a light color, nude or really a light baby pink or something like that and just keep on going. And you don't have to worry about cleanup because you're not going to really be able to see that that well. And if you do, you can just swish it right on off with a brush. So I really don't have one particular go-to polish. Uh, the next question is, what items are essential to your nail care, nail care routine? First and foremost, it is Dury Rejuvicoat Base Coat. That is my go-to base coat all-time favorite I love it now when I'm swatching I will do any base coat that I have because I'm not gonna waste my rejuva coat on just for swatching but that is it um, I also need cuticle oil and just a fingernail file you know that's what I mean because I could just go have those three items and I'm good so that would be my nail care essential routine that I really really need what is your favorite newly discovered brand in the or mainstream? I guess it would be um, Pop Beauty because I have a few polishes from them. Um, I've never had any before. I found some on sale at Ulta and these are mainstream. They're not indie. This would be it, Pop Beauty. The next question is, what is your go-to badass color? The color that makes you feel your sexiest or most badass. My favorite badass color is Igniting Love from China Glaze. 
It is my all-time favorite China Glaze Polish. I don't know why I love it so much, but it is just absolutely beautiful. It's a red color. It's my favorite red of all colors, all reds. Um, I just, it just makes me feel sexy when I put it on. That's my favorite color, um, Igniting Love from China Glaze. Indie or mainstream? Mainstream for me all the way because I just feel like most indie polishes are so expensive and I don't want to spend that kind of money on nail polish. Once I ordered, um, I don't, I'm not even going to say what name I bought it from. I ordered a nail polish. It was a mini. And when I say, when I was thinking mini, I was thinking the mini like this. This is a mini to me. What I got was something that was l much smaller than this right here which is, is pretty much just no see these are even smaller than those if you look at the bottle I got something even smaller than this and I ended up paying $8.50 for it and I was so pissed when I got that bottle of polish and I said I would never buy another mini unless I actually see the mini and see what it looks like and see how much comes in it but that was my fault because I didn't do my research but mainstream all the way. Which brand's collection do you most look forward to? Oh, hands down, China Glaze. I love China Glaze. I know everybody says, well, they chip a lot, whatever. I don't have that problem really because I don't keep the nail polish on my fingers for more than two days at the most. So that doesn't bother me. China Glaze is my all time favorite nail polish. I love them. If I could give China Glaze a hug, I would. I love China Glaze, China Glaze so. That's all. Those are all the questions. Do you like my new little background here? Got my little candle. Thought I'd do a little fall stuff going on for you. Next up is gonna be my fall nail polish favorite, so stay tuned for the next video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Please give me a thumbs up, and thank you so, so much for joining me and spending a little bit of your day with me, or your night, depending on what time you're looking at this video. Thank you, bye.